Welcome to Living with Victory Ministries podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Teague's Grocery and Corner Cafe at 130 Soco Road in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. In a moment, Lorene and Tony Giorgio. So if life has left you kicking up dust, keep listening, keep looking up and grab your umbrella, get ready to sing in the Hi, this is Laureen Giorgio, and this is God's Promise, Episode 9. Today, my husband Tony is joining us, and I'm so happy that he is because he can add so much to the program. Welcome to another edition of our Living with Victory radio podcast, where life isn't about waiting for the storms to pass. It's about hope and encouragement, learning to dance in the rain with peace, joy, and victory in the midst of life's storms. That's very important because Jesus is your umbrella in the storm. You can also join us on livingwithvictory.podbean.com. We also are so happy to have in our family of broadcasting, we have joined America Matters Media out of Reno, Nevada on 1180 a.m. on Sunday mornings too. And you can reach us by streaming there 8.30 in the morning or Eastern Time at 11.30 a.m. If you miss any of these episodes that we're doing on God's Promises because of the time where we're in, you can go to our podcast and pick them up. They're all there at your convenience okay today we're going to talk about psalms 32 7 through 10 now i'm going to read verse 7 straight through then we're going to go through verse 7 step by step you are a hiding place for me so if you're hiding and you're not with god then you need to get with Jesus. That's the best place to hide. You, Lord, preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs and shouts of deliverance. Then it says, Selah, which means pause and calmly think of that. So if you're all anxious and fearful for today and you just don't know where to go because of all the uncertainty in in this world that is going on and the sickness and and joblessness and, and just so many things coming at you that you... You just feel like there's no hope, you are locked in, you are overwhelmed, and you don't know where to start to straighten it out. Here's good news. You don't have to straighten it out because (laughs) God's got you. He is your hiding place. And that's why it says to pause and calmly think of what I have just read. I'm going to read it again. So this way, take that deep breath and listen to what God says. You are a hiding place for me. This is David talking. And David needed a hiding place because he was running for his life for 15 years from Saul. So he is saying to God, you are a hiding place for me. You, Lord, preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs and shouts of deliverance. Pause a minute and calmly think of that promise. It's a wonderful promise. It's a great promise. When everything happened in the beginning, when we lost the store, we lost the house, moved in with your mom and dad, the whole thing, and I got the phlebitis, I was sick. I literally used to not want to get out of that sick bed in the morning at all. I would throw the covers over my head and hide because my mind was just so devastated and I was not in the place that I should have been. Exactly. And how I am today, that would never happen again. But I was hiding undercover, you know, just like I know many people listening, 
I probably have done this, but we're no different. No, not at all. And that's not what it's all. all about. But could you imagine hiding within the Almighty under his wing? Matthew Henry's commentary says, and I'm taking the first phrase, you are my hiding place. When by faith I have recourse to thee, I shall see all the reason in the world to be easy and to think myself out of the reach of evil. When you're trusting God and you're resting and you're in his hiding place, you don't have to worry about what's going to happen or what's coming the next five minutes or if anything is going to turn around because you're resting in him. Recourse means the use of someone as a source of help in a difficult situation. Now, I know all of us are in difficult situations right now because life has been turned upside down these past few months. Without Nothing doubt. is the same. We're in uncharted territory. We don't know where we're going. We don't know how to go anymore because everything has changed. We do know the source, the someone who is the source is Jesus. And if you look at it, he is, he was, he always will be. There is a classification there of someone you would really want to be with and hiding in. But it does, and I have to say it does take practice. But that's why the Bible's there, to read the Word. And, and the Scriptures will really hold a lot of comfort for you, because we both know in the times we were in, even now, with this epidemic you need something to fall back on it's time to look in a different area than we're looking we're at a point where a person or a group of people cannot get us out of this mess only god can do it it's too big it's too intricate there's too much going on to even figure out where to start but god is saying come to me Hide in me, rest in me, and I will preserve you from trouble. And that makes all the fear go, because even though you may be looking at your problem, the minute you start to think that God never changes, that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, and that he is in control, and he has it, he's the sovereign God, then you can relax, take that deep breath, and as the verse says, pause and calmly think of that. And then he says, you surround me with songs and shouts of deliverance. Now, that means you can have godly friends around you that are going to praise and thank him and shout for what's coming because he already has it in hand because he knows the end from the beginning and that while you're going through to your end, he's going to keep you from trouble. He's going to have his arms around you, hold you tight, keep you safe as you're going through your problem. He is your someone. He is your source of help in a difficult situation. He and he alone. After that, it says, thou shalt preserve me from trouble. You may feel a little inconvenience going through, but you won't feel the full sting of it. He will protect you. His arms are there to protect you. Peter was walking on the water in the storm. And as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, he was going through that storm without a problem. He was walking on that water. The minute he moved his eyes, he started to sink. And that's what we have to do. The minute you start to turn your eyes from Jesus, get them right back there. Don't feel bad that maybe in a weak moment you started to complain or you started to look around and see the problem. But get your eyes on Jesus and he will hold you up. 
I go to bed at night sometimes and I can't sleep because Satan just infiltrates there. Oh, wow, you, you're not raising any more money like you used to. The equipment's not even working right. You're not going to do this. Your podcast is going to fail. And then, out of the blue, Eddie Floyd comes along with the, with America Matters and offers us another broadcast position in Reno, Nevada, which is aired worldwide because it's online and we're heard by a lot more people podcasters because we've hooked up with Stitcher and, and a few of the other ones that we didn't have, plus the Podbean. And and this is out, out of this devastation that's going on now. And it's amazing because for what we have to work with in finances, it covers everything beautifully. I mean, it's not overdone and the money's not pouring in, but we're able to do this because we know who is on our side. And for 53 years of marriage, we've had the storms. As you listen up, you, you'll know, you'll say, are they nuts? But we're not. We're not. There is a God. And that that's the idea is to listen to him. And sometimes at night, I memorize during the day, during my study time in the morning, some small scriptures that I can keep with me. And when it, it starts to hit me at night where I can't sleep, I start repeating those little scriptures, something to infiltrate that mess that is hitting you when you're at your weakest at night, you're tired. And it works because you calm down, take a few deep breaths, and you say, he's there, which he is. So why wouldn't you want somebody who is the Superman of the universe and loves you as much as he does? He loves you because he gave his son, Jesus, to die for you because he loved you so much to save your soul. Exactly. I know nine years ago when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I know what it is like to hide in Jesus. And he had me so in the palm of his hand when I decided to do that and I felt so secure and safe and so peaceful. He said he gives a peace that the world cannot understand and that his grace is sufficient. And this is God that cannot lie. He is truth. This is God. This isn't someone who's coming to you. I know today it's been so hard because you don't know who's telling the truth and who isn't. But he does tell you the truth. He is God. And he also says he will surround you with songs and shouts of deliverance. He will not only hide us and deliver us, but he will surround us with godly people to pray and give thanks with you. Do not isolate yourself. Look for godly people. Praise and thanksgiving are the most powerful warfare tools you can have. Satan doesn't know what to do with a joyful Christian (laughs) because it makes no sense to him. How could you be joyful and singing and praising God when you have all this mess going on around you? But it's not your mess. God is working it out for you. Exactly. And you know, when you say everybody's in the same mess, how can I be surrounded by anybody or anything? You've got an internet, you've got Facebook, you've got your phone, you've got texting, you you know people, we know people around the world, you know, here we are. There's Laureen and Tony. You say, Laureen and Tony, who? What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> if, you, if you email us at livingwithvictory at gmail.com, we'll get back to you. We'll talk to you. We'll write you. We'll help you along. Don't don't worry about that. It's available, in other words. There's millions of us out here. You're not going to be isolated unless you want to be isolated. A good church that you go to, a few friends. You don't need 50, 60, 100 people. You need a few good friends. Good, Bible-loving, God-loving friends. And you got it. When you do start to praise and thank him for all of the storms he has brought you through, and I'm sure he's brought you through plenty, Do you think he's not going to do it again? He is always the same. So that means that all things are possible with him. Nothing is impossible, even this particular storm that you may be going through. Now, when you decide to truly trust and not waver, you will get excited with the anticipation to see how he will bring you through this current storm. Only through exercising your faith and perseverance muscle can you walk on the water. The Lord will instruct you, verse 8. I, the Lord, will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. 
I will counsel you with my eye upon you. God himself is going to show you if you should go left or right, but we have to be paying attention. We have to have that personal relationship with him. We have to be praying and, if necessary, fasting. And we have to be praising and thanking him and just constantly having a fellowship with him. And he's going to help you navigate your way out of your situation. There is no guesswork if you're listening for his voice, but his voice is low. He doesn't shout. You have to be listening for it. This is only through prayer and his word, which is accessible through, as my husband said, many media that that is available. Oh, today. yeah, because in the mornings, I was always thumbing through the Bible and, you know, that kind of thing. And then realized, hey, I've got a phone. I got Bible.com. Holy cow, I don't have to hold on to that heavy book. I got to do is press a button and every scripture, every Bible verse is there in front of you. Not only that, they have lesson plans that you can listen to or read all in one. If you want to feed yourself, the food is there. He's everywhere. That's who he is. There's no no real excuse that you're alone. You're not alone. You're really not. If no. you look for it, it's right there. Never, never alone. You don't have to guess. All you have to do is ask, and Jesus is going to guide you. Exactly. And he'll give you wisdom. If you ask for wisdom, he will give you wisdom. So far, out of four verses I'm going to read, these are only two. Look at the promises that he's giving you. This should encourage you and should make you say, what am I worried about? I've got the Lord walking by my side. Verse 9 says, be not like the horse or the mule, which lack understanding, which must have their mouths held firm with bit and bridle, or else they will not come with you. God doesn't want to have to pull us in the right direction. He wants us to love and trust him and to follow his direction with our love and faith. We do this by cultivating our relationship with him daily. And then number 10 says, Many are the sorrows of the wicked, but he, now here's a great promise again, folks, but he who trusts in, relies on, and confidently leans on the Lord shall be compassed about with mercy and with loving kindness. Talking about the bridle and, and pulling the, the donkey and the horse. And he gave us free will, okay? It's it's your decision. Choices. Well, the choices, that's right. Thank you, mm -hmm. choices. To make the choice, do you want it? Do you want the help? He wants you to go to him. Otherwise, it's up to you, but he's there. Just think of this for a minute. Who? I mean, this is the God that has created the universe, who has created you and me, who has sent his son to die for us, for our sins, and rose again. He bled. He, he went through so much torment for us because he loved us so much. And yet, even after all of that that he did for us, look at all of these promises. If you take each one of these promises, just in these verses alone, it is condensed in just four verses of the Bible of who he is and how much he loves us. And you know, you're talking about David, right? We're, we're David, dealing with something. yes. David yeah. was the most haunted, hunted person <laughs> on the face of the earth at that time. He ran into caves hiding they burned down his village while he was away. They took the women and children. He wept until he couldn't weep anymore when that happened. But like a pandemic, you know, he lost a lot many, many times, not just once. And yet he he just fell on his face every time to Jesus, to, to his Lord and Master. And he always came out a winner, but not that he didn't suffer, but he knew where to go. And that's the idea. When, when you need help, you have to know where to go. And the self-help book is the Bible. And be assured that he is listening to you, that he loves you and he cares about you, and he wants to help you and he is helping you. You're not talking to just the air. When you have a relationship with him, he wants to 
fulfill each one of these promises for you. Exactly. Now, these scriptures, I'm going to recap. He will hide you when trouble comes and will soften the sting. He will surround you with people who will thank and praise with you. He will teach you and show you step by step what you need to do to go through to the other side and hold you while you're going. Those who choose to trust and rely on him will be compassed about with mercy and loving kindness. That is who our God is. That is who our Father is. And remember, when he left this earth and was resurrected, his spirit is still here. The Holy Spirit is in you. You were built with it. Your transistor is the Holy Spirit to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's there. All you have to do is turn him on. And remember, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We've been through enough to tell you this too shall pass. Lean on the everlasting arms. Know that he's your umbrella in the storm. We guarantee if you follow it, it will work out not in your time, but in his time. We only say this because we've been there, we live it, we know now how to go through our problems, and we do go with peace, joy, and victory. We know that victory is ours already because of his death on the cross. Exactly, and we've seen so many people in our 32 years of advocating for seriously ill children while we were in Orlando. I mean, we've seen some devastation But we've seen the faith of families and children who withstood the the horrors of disease and all and come out on top and always had a smile on their faces. There There were many. So just remember that. He lives. He's been through it. He was crucified. You've got a champion you need to follow. Nothing on television is going to satisfy you. Nothing on the Internet will satisfy you. But he will. Jesus is your umbrella in the storm. And remember, we run this by donations, by your good graces, whether it's a dollar or five dollars. It keeps us going, and we appreciate anything you want to do in these times. And we love everybody who is supporting us, and especially our sponsor, Teague's grocery and cafe in maggie valley who's helped us a great deal for more information about us go to livingwithvictory.org and learn a little bit more and we love you we'll be back at you don't worry about a thing he's got you (laughs) (laughs) see ya you can become a living with victory ministries patron with a monthly donation of five dollars or more simply go to livingwithvictory.podbean.com That's livingwithvictory.podbean.com and click on the PayPal button. Thanks for listening. So if life has left you kicking up dust, keep listening, keep looking up and grab your umbrella, get ready to sing in the